In this video, I am going to break down why KMAC lost. What's up guys, my name's Cody and I want to thank you for taking the time to watch today's YouTube video. Now if you don't know, my basically my whole channel is designed to help you get better at Madden. So we do that through daily tips and strategies. Sometimes I make up the stuff, sometimes I break down stuff like this from pro players. So if you want to subscribe to the channel, um, in my opinion, that's one of the best ways that you can get better at Madden. Now really quickly before we dive too much into this, I simply want to remind everybody that my text message membership is a thing. My number will be popping up on screen at multiple points during this video. But KMAC is running the Raiders playbook. Um, and I actually just released a trips tight end uh, scheme this weekend um, for or actually today for this. So I thought what would be fun is to do a walk, a watch along, and then we'll kind of break this up into some other parts. But KMAC is a great offensive player, so I'm actually really excited to, to show this. Uh, but I'm going to kind of show how I watch film um, and kind of break down some things that you can hopefully pick up along the way. We'll be bouncing back and forth from, from gameplay as well as on practice mode. I got that pulled up too to be able to break this down. So first things first, I want to kind of log what we've seen so far from KMAC. So I'm going to jump over here uh, into a document. And basically, this is just, you know, I just do something like simple like this. Drive one, um, trips tight in, uh, inside zone. And then the other thing that I'll typically do when I'm doing a scouting report is I'll go to huddle.gg because they have a playbook database where I can kind of log everything and just kind of research it a little bit. Um, and so one of the other things that we noticed that he did was he ran um, the stretch alert bubble so out of the I-form slot. So I could just simply you know, put in, okay, he ran I-form uh, each slot and he ran uh, I think it was the stretch alert bubble it might have been the dive but he ran one of those two run plays uh, from there so now on third down he's running um, trips tight end and he's running the curl flat uh, trips tight in and I'm pretty sure he's running curl flat now what I like to do is put the adjustments down if he does any adjustments so he actually placed uh, his LOS outside receiver on a out route Put that in there. He put um, he put his place his LOS outside slot, so that's a second receiver uh, on a curl route. And then let's take a look at the uh, the rest of the routes here. So this is just so you can kind of start to understand and learn a little bit about these players and their and you'll notice there's tendencies here. So if you take a look here, you see that. He did curl flat. So look, there's your out route right there standing wide open. He's also got this curl route here, and then he's got that post route. So he smart routed the post. Smart route the post. And then he placed his tight end on a streak, right? So this is a little bit of work to this. And uh, I'm going to jump over here to gameplay now. And this is another thing that I like to do. So I actually meant to flip the flip the sides here so one second we'll get this cleaned up for you but i'm actually going to then come over here to practice mode once i've broken it down in game and i'm going to try to recreate kind of the same uh at least this try to get on the field and just kind of see it so trips tight in and the play is curl flat now from as far as john beast's coaching adjustments i'm just going to go ahead and assume he had these on 25 um i don't know that for a fact just yet um, because I haven't studied the tape because this is kind of my initial walkthrough. But you know that he was running a lot of 3-3-5 wide on, to, on KMAC, one of the most popular defenses right now in the Madden community. And in my personal opinion, one of the best defenses in the Madden community right now. Uh, if you want to get my full 3-3-5 ebook, that link is in the description. But we're just going to show some basic Mabel coverage. And then I'm going to share with you kind of what I saw. So this was the setup right here. Um, and then we simply streak the tight end here. So this is pretty much the setup that he went with on this third down. It's a really, really good setup. I absolutely love this slot curl route. That is genius. I'm actually going to add that to my game. I've already learned something from KMAC here within under five minutes of studying his film. So to me, there's a, there's so much to be learned. And we're going to continue to jump in through this and learn together um, through this video but if you want the simpler version of this, go ahead and text me. Again, my number is in the top left-hand corner right there for you um, that you can shoot me that text message so that you can get access to the full trips tight end scheme. Not, this is not going to be KMAX full scheme. This is more of my full scheme 
in addition to some of the principles and some of the wrinkles that he uh, does have to share with you. So if you want to get that, that just just shoot me a text message. If you want to get my full trips tight end offense, uh, really full New England offense, that link's in the description too. The 55 wide defense is in the description if you want to pick that up, which literally almost every player in the competitive scene is running this right now because it's literally the best defense in the game. All that to say, let's jump back into the K-Mac and see how he executes here on this play. So we're just going to run through. So that's one of his favorite setups. You see here he hits his out route very well and takes his seven yards. The out route is actually really smart because the out route bounce does a route bounce, which is really, really cool. So you'll see this is his favorite play. He's going to run curl flat. Now he's running inside zone here um, and did a couple fake hot, fake hot routes here. But, again, another first down and ten. Um, and his next call here, so we'll just document all this stuff as I go through. Um, his next call is inside zone. And we're going to literally walk through this step by step and kind of share a little bit. Now, as we're doing this, I want you to also pay attention to how John Beast is actually defending him as well. So whenever, see here, he's going to audible down. Now, he did the same thing in the last second down. He audible down every single time. Now, really quickly, I just want to kind of give you a summary statement of what I see, at least on this first drive from KMAC. As I'm writing this down, he went to I-form close, power O, and he, whoops, uh, power O, and he playmakered it left. Okay. This is my summary statement of what's going to go wrong for K-Mac in this game. K-Mac is a passer. Okay. He's an offensive mastermind, a very good passer. I don't know why he ran the ball so much. And in my opinion, from what I could see, I think K-Mac played a little bit too conservative in this game. Honestly, I think he underestimated John Beast, and I think that he played conservative because he felt like if I play conservative and just don't beat myself, then there's no way John Beast is going to beat me. And ironically, even though he decided that he was going to play conservative and try not to beat himself and put himself in bad positions, he actually ends up putting himself in some of the worst positions I've ever seen him be in. So let's jump in and continue rolling through this. So that's just something. So don't ever get conservative. I think that's what he did here. But um, anyway, so he's going, he's, he's flipping his trips, flipping the trips to the wide side of the field here. Now he's probably going to go to curl flat. Now, if you look here, now he flips it. This is actually really interesting to me that he flips his trips to the short side. I think it's simply to get more space for Randy Moss here. But we've got basically, yep, slant, flat combination. And you see here a little scrambling. Um, so I'm just going to show, go ahead and take this through. Um, what he did was he ran trips, tight end, curl flat again. Um, he placed his LOS outside receiver on a post route. He placed his LOS outside slot receiver on a flat route. He placed his LOS inside slot wide receiver on a slant and he motioned his LOS inside slot wide receiver to the right and snapped him after he passed the tight end. That's what he did on that play. So now we know that's another setup. Another So that's his second passing, unique passing play that he called, and he gained about seven yards uh, on the ground. So, you know, starting to kind of learn a little bit. Now you notice that John Beast is coming out in 3-3-5, audibly into 3-3-5 wide every time. Now once again, first down and 10, he called inside zone. He has done that every single time. Every single first down. You look here. Trip set in inside zone. Trip set in inside zone. And once again, on another, he picked up that third down. Now on first down, he's going right back to inside zone. So those are tendencies that you're starting to see. And that's why film study, I think, is so, so important. When you watch film on people, you start to learn their tendencies, why they do what they do. And I don't know if he'll do this or not, but based off his tendencies, he's probably going to audible down to a pro set. As you see right here, he looks like he's audibling down to strong close. Now he's going to break tendency here. He is going to audible down to strong close, which is a pro set, but it looks like he's probably going to pass the ball. And yes, he is. He's going to go with Noah up next favorite passing concept 
and actually did a good job of hitting this tight end. So I'm going to go ahead and just write that down over here. So we're going to come back over to our little log sheet here. Now he goes to strong close and just want to make sure I get the right play from strong close that he called. Um, he came out in strong close FL drive right here. So he goes to strong close FL drive and his setup was he smart routed the LOS wide receiver. He placed the tight end on a post route and he placed the ROS receiver on a slant route and he motioned the ROS wide receiver to the left and he snapped him once he passed the left tackle. Okay? So that's what he did, and he got a good completion and was able to hit it. So that's going to bring up a first down. Now, the question is, and, and one would think, as we've been watching this first drive, it's very likely that he's going to go inside zone. So let's see what he does here. He actually goes ahead and passes the ball, and he does curl flat. Now, he literally ran curl flat and actually threw the ball away, and I think he actually missed a read here. But what I want to write down in our notes here is K-Mac is starting to break tendency. So he called curl flat. And all he did was he smart routed the tight end. That's it. That's all he did. Um, and that smart route of the tight end is really, 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 really powerful. If we come back over here um, just, a, just a little bit, if you watch this tight end, just watch right here, you'll notice something about John Beast. He actually has a tight end cross man by this linebacker. Um, and what you can see here is this is wide open. This throw is wide open. But because John Beast users there, I think K-Mac just doesn't trust the throw. And his eyes are looking over here. And he actually has multiple people wide open. But, again, just I think just bad bad on him for missing the read. I think he was expecting his own coverage. And John Beast went with a little bit of a man coverage, hybrid coverage, and did a really, really good job right there. So this is going to bring up second and ten. You see John Beast audibling around. And... You're going to notice that K-Mac is now going to go down to I-Form close. Second and 10. He's done that every single time. Literally every single time. I-Form close now. Power O. He's going to go to Bo. And he's going to get no yardage. Okay. So we can come back over here into our notes. And we can write down. All right. The next thing that he did is he went I-Form close. Power O. And he playmakered it left okay so this is going to bring up a third and ten now you see here he's flipped his trip side into the wide side of the field of the formation he did that same thing he's going to flip it again now if you watch he's probably going to run that corner route to the right he's got the post route right there probably going to be that motion slant that's that same exact literally the same exact setup and as you can see right here this is one of his favorite setups he's got this guy wide open but oh throw out a sack and John Beast dropped a pick. Now, John Beast, I felt like, did a really, really good job at certain moments in this offense or in this play of stopping these different routes. So I'll show you the example. Uh, I've got a hot route master quarterback. So he's running curl flat, simply smart routes the tight end. And then from there, because he has hot route master, he can put that skinny post out there. And then the next thing that he can do is he can basically run this motion snap right here. And as you can see, this is the setup that he was running okay and uh, this kind of his man coverage beater uh if you will um so anyways guys i wanted and then came back obviously ultimately takes a field goal so bottom line is this is one sample drive okay this is just simply one sample drive of how i study film now you can do this for yourself you could study these pro players and really learn why they do what they do how they do what they do and learn from that they're so, so easily can study these guys, okay? So I just wanted to give you a sample to how I did that um, and talk a little bit about it. But the two setups that we learned from KMAC that he really likes to do, the first one is, um, is, is more of a kind of standard, but essentially an out route in combination with a curl route out of trips is a really, really, I think a really, really good setup. And honestly, it's something that I haven't thought about doing myself. So... I actually learned something from K-Mac on this. Now, the next thing is 
this setup right here, one of KMAC's favorite setups. He has that skinny post over the middle. He has that smart routed corner route, and then he's got this little low ball slant. Um, this corner route, I felt like he just did not do it justice. That's the best corner route in Madden, in my opinion. And, um, you know, I felt like KMAC could have ran that a little bit better. But my bottom line takeaway from why KMAC lost, it felt like he was almost too robotic, almost kind of uh, playing a very conservative ball game. But those are some setups and some things and some tips that I learned from KMAC just in this first drive. It doesn't take long for you to start picking up on what these guys are doing. You just have to be willing to jump in, do the work, and lab it. So if you want to get my full trips tied in offense, you can hit me up. My number is at the top left-hand corner of your screen. It's also in the description of this video. Also, if you haven't subscribed yet, make sure to do that. But if you have any questions at all, you can always text me. My phone number is 812-216-3644. Thanks for watching this video, and we'll see you on tonight's live stream at 10 o'clock p.m. Eastern Time.